optimistic solo growth model developed by prize-winning economist Robert Solo was the first neoclassical growth model and was built upon the Kinsey and Harvard Doma model. The solo model is the basis for the modern theory of economic growth. We have to understand the solo growth model because it will help us understand a dynamic of growth and also help us draw a distinction between two types of growth, a catching up growth and a cutting edge growth. As you can see, catching up growth has a trend to grow faster than cutting edge. Solo model will explain in a detail for us. So, we would like to talk about this basic solo growth model with no technological progress. But we need to use the aggregate production function term of per worker form because economic growth is measured by GDP per capita by divide aggregate production function by n and it will become y equal to function of k where small y represent output per worker or y over n and small k represent capital per worker or k over n. At the market equilibrium, investment will equal to saving. So at this point, we will assume that tax equal to government spending to let them cancel out and allow investment to be equal to saving. From the goods market carrying condition, investment equal to saving. Saving also has a saving function which is saving equal to saving rate multiplied income or output. That means investment equal to saving rate multiplied by income or output too. Investment and output also need to change into per worker form. Therefore, we will divide by in both sides. Then capital I will change to small i as investment per worker, and capital Y will change to small y, which represent output per worker. Next. Small y also equal to fk, so investment per worker equal to saving rate multiplied by fk. Depreciation is delta k, depreciation per worker is delta small k, where delta is the rate of depreciation that have value between 0 to 1. After we divide the equation with n, we will get capital per worker, which is small k or capital K over n. As we know that, at the market equilibrium, investment equals to saving, makes investment also equals to saving per worker, or saving rate multiplied by income or output. Therefore, when we divide n through the equation, we will get output per worker from y over n. The other K is a chain in capital per capital, which is equal to investment minus depreciation. This is important to help us to solve steady state. Steady state is a state that investment and depreciation just offset each other. Or we can say that the investment equal to depreciation, therefore delta k equal to zero. K are constant at a steady state, and k will keep increase closer and closer to the steady state. The speed of change in K depends on the size of gap. At first, gap is bigger, then becomes smaller, which means that K moving fast at first and becomes slower. Interaction between output and capital. The amount of capital determines the amount of output being produced, and the amount of output determines the amount of saving, and so the amount of capital being accumulated. 
The seven rate has the impact on economic growth. This graph describes the key point that the higher saving rate leads to a higher capital per worker, which is a new steady state. Higher K star brings higher Y star. More higher rate of saving lead to higher level of investment, capital and income per worker in the long run. It takes time to change from one steady state to another new steady state. Tip Saving rate affects to a level of output per worker in long run. Saving rate not affect to long run growth rate of output per worker, which is equal to zero. Increase in saving rate will lead to an increasing growth of output per worker for some times, but not permanently. Golden rule level of capital stock is trying to find where consumption is maximized. We can derive disposable income by y subtract by t, which is income and tax relatively. What we want to find is consumption, so we will substitute c with s. As we assume output equals to capital, so we change y star to a function of capital and also saving equals to investment. This is where consumption is maximized. The condition to achieve maximum consumption is where MPK equals to D. If MPK greater than D, we need to increase saving rate to adjust D to grow closer to MPK. If MPK less than D, we need to decrease saving rate to adjust D to grow closer to MPK.